A man is in custody charged with scamming several homeowners out of thousands of dollars for home repairs never done. As Ross Gadotti reports, it's not the first time this man's been in trouble in this kind of trouble. According to police, Ryan Blumling promised all kind of improvements to several homeowners' houses here in Bridgeville, but in the end, all he delivered was a bunch of excuses. And according to police, this isn't the first time he's done something like this. There's a lot of good contractors out there. You know, there's a handful of ones, though, that, that live off of scams and frauds. And according to Bridgeville Police, 43-year-old Ryan Thomas Blumling is the latter of the two. Blumling stands accused of ripping two homeowners off to the tune of $60,000 in a home improvement scam. This started in September of 2022. There was work to be performed at one individual's house and the neighbor had an issue with a fence. And according to court records, Blumling gave them a two for one deal. It was supposed to start. There were contracts signed. The problem was after both homeowners allegedly gave a combined $60,000 to Blumling to do the job. It wouldn't even really do work. It was basically one excuse after another why he couldn't do the work. And some of those alleged excuses by Blumling included that he was getting married, the ground was too wet to do work, his dog died, a co-worker committed suicide, he and his partner broke up, another co-worker was stealing from him, he hurt himself, and he lost his wallet. He's had a history of this type of behavior and conduct. Blumling, in fact, went to jail in 2015 on federal charges after he allegedly defrauded investors of some $2 million. Blumling was picked up on other non-related charges in Pittsburgh last month. It's hard to trust anybody these days. Due to these latest charges, Blumling violated his federal parole, so he's now back in federal custody. Meanwhile, if you think you were a victim of Ryan Blumling or any other contractor, you're encouraged to call your local police department. In Bridgeville, Ross Gadotti, KDKA-TV News.